Show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. As a parent, you mm -hmm. might uh, wonder when is the right time to allow your kid to get a smartphone. Oof. An article in the Wall Street Journal says middle school might be ideal. The nonprofit Common Sense Media says more than 50% of kids have a smartphone by the age of 11. Now, tech experts say if you just want your kids to be able to reach out, consider a smart watch. Hand-me-downs might be a great option. I think that's a really good idea mm -hmm. to save on cost. Companies include uh, Gab Wireless, Trumi, and Bark offer phones and plans that you might find to be less expensive mm. than others on the market. You have girls that grew up more so with the option to even right. get a cell phone. Right. What, do you remember when yeah, they I, got theirs? Yeah, it was. Uh, they were uh, they were a l probably 10, 10 and eleven years old when they got their phone. Phones. Was it a cell phone <laughs> or a smartphone? No, it was, it was a cell phone because, uh, okay. I mean, think about it. Even uh, even well, 10 or 11 years ago, I mean, the iPhone was still out. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I wasn't going to give my kid an iPhone that the screen was going to be smashed in five minutes. It was a smaller, um, like the little uh, the Nokia ones, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I am with you on that in terms of yeah. I, hate, I hate to turn the corner here and have it go into a negative conversation. But, listen, there's a, there's a lot happening in the sure, world right there now. Is, there is. A lot of tragedy, horrific things yeah. that parents want that connection right, right. with their students. A God forbid moment, mm -hmm. I need to get in touch with you. Right. So I understand why this age has probably decreased yep. over time. I remember being a teen, you know, getting my license and then my parents being like, I, we kind of want you to have a cell mm -hmm. phone in case you break down. And I feel like that's always the moments that right. the parents are saying, the connection's being lost here. I need to make sure I can contact you at any moment. Plus, landlines are gone now. So if you've got a kid who hops off the bus, and even if they're home for 10 minutes, right. you don't want something to happen within that 10 minutes and now have them no way to reach anyone. Yeah. You, 911, yeah. whatever it is. But I, I agree with you in terms of a cell phone first. Like, I, I know I'm not there yet, but with my kids, it's going to be like, hey, you can call, maybe send a text, that's it. Mm -hmm. Social media is a different oh, yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Get I to agree. that when you hit... Even like high school, I just want to hold well, off. Middle school is hard enough I know. with bullies and people picking on each I other and, and this and that and the other thing. Have it end at school, step away at home, don't be on the social media. I know. It's, it's, I know look, I say that now, I mean, it's probably going to be hard to avoid when I hit that point. It's, but. it's, very, it's very tough for parents when, when, you, when you have kids like that and the kids go to school and they want something that the, the rest of the kids look. I mean, I we've know, all been, you've been there yourself. Uh, we've all been in that position uh -huh. ourselves. When you see the other kids who, ha who have certain things and you want one yourself. I wanted like a $50 t-shirt from Abercrombie right. when I, they were popular. I said my, fir my first cell phone was bought at the Emerald Square Mall. It was in the, the small black bag. And it was from Cellular One, and you had to buy the minutes. And it was only because I was going from here back up and f back and forth to Worcester occasionally. Yeah. And, and that's why I got calling it. cards were a big thing. You had a calling too. card too, right? Brendan, I was really happy when I could play Snake on my cell phone. Right. That was the start of it all. I believe it. And then Will, I'm sure you ran right over to Saturday matinee. I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Picked up a new leather jacket from I did, Chess yes, King. From Chess King. Is he sipped on his orange Julius? Yes, a so, Z Cabaricis. So great. But I remember uh, when my parents let me get my first cell phone. I was 37. I think that was just the right time. <laughs> you didn't smash it? <laughs> no. no. We went through our Blackberry phase. Oh, we used to be Blackberry oh. Messenger buddies. BBM, we did. We did. Right? We, we did. When he was in Los Angeles. BBM buddies. Yeah. There were like three people that had a Blackberry still. You and I were <laughs> two, two of them. Here. Two of them. But yeah, this is such a, a delicate conversation Michaela you made so many good points will you did as well having kids I mean when is the right time and especially yeah. now Michaela like you said the way the world is it, it's, it's so different think that way but you're right yeah yeah, it's, oh. yeah you have to consider so many things I know but again 37 it worked out well let's check in <laughs> with our viewers to see what you guys have to say about this topic right here this morning let's get to it Anne Marie is up first she said I got my son the prepaid cell phone in eighth grade only in case he needed to get a hold of us and upgraded occasionally from there I didn't get one until I was in my 30s because they weren't available before then. Well, that's a good reason to wait till your 30s. Dante is up next saying, I received my first phone around age 12 or 13. It was a small sidekick phone. I'll remember those. I think fifth grade, sixth grade is a good age to give a child a phone, but nothing too expensive. Start them basic and let them earn a better phone if they keep their grades up. Oh, a little incentivizing from Dante. And Dennis says his first phone was a bag phone. All oh, those things were massive. Technology today is phenomenal compared to that first purchase. Yeah, you had to zip it closed, so that was always an experience, just getting it open. And lastly, Jeannie says, I don't have a cell phone. Never will. I hate answering my house phone. I have two cans and some string. 
<laughs> Must be very difficult to text with that. Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and keep those comments coming. You know where to find us, at The Road Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your comments on our Facebook Live Buzz topic each morning, and you never know, we may read yours right here on the show. Still to come this morning on The Road Show, 